Okay, now that it's done, get a better look at how this setup that I have here. So these guide wheels can be rotated 360 degrees around here. This one has a uh, slot cut in it, and so does this, the one that it mounts to. This is three inch pipe, this is three and a half inch pipe. It was my old uh, <laughs> cell t or, uh, satellite tower. Anyway, uh, the slots are cut in it so I can get the wire in and out without having to, uh, to cut the wire and reassemble it. And uh, so that can be rotated 360 degrees. So if you're you know, doing a vertical cut, you can rotate rotate these guys like this and then when you're cutting back up uh, there's two wheels so you know when you're going the opposite way it'll the wire will run against this one and uh, when you're going the other way the wire will run against this one uh, they slide in and out again same thing I've got uh, some pipe in here that it's it slots into and in the back there and there's about uh, five feet of travel there. You can see it sticking out in the back there. So if I was cutting a really thin zone, I would bring them both all the way in. If I'm kidding, uh, cutting a really, really wide stone, I can pull them all both all the way out and just use the uh, large wheels. These wires are from uh, China. They seem to use them on all their uh, saws over there. They're about 120 US a piece. The bearings in them are crap. I think but we could hear uh, we could hear one running pretty loud over there. So I'll have to see if I can switch the bearing out of that. got a little uh, water feed system on them just to bring put some water on them to keep them cool and to keep the cable running through them without too much wear. Uh, 